Dave Gardner is director of the documentary Growth Busters Hooked on Growth. He's also the host of the Growth Busters podcast about sustainable living. So, Dave, this is the earliest Earth Overshoot Day ever. In 1993, it fell in October two years ago in August, and here we are in July. So what were your thoughts when you first heard this? Well, this is the most authoritative scientific evidence that uh, the size of the human population and the global economy have really outgrown the planet. As you mentioned, you know, we would need almost two planet Earths to meet the demands that we are placing on the planet. And if we continue at this rate, then it is going to be increasingly difficult for us and our children to live decent lives because the planet will just not be able to, to meet our needs. Are we learning anything new here? Every day it seems like there's new information about our planet and the climate. But with this information, do you think it's enough to spur any kind of change or cause alarm for people? Well, you're right that the, it seems like we hardly go a week without a new scientific report that has pretty, pretty dire news about our state of overshoot, if you really read between the lines. This is a big story. This is really the biggest story of the, not just of the day, but of the year. And uh, if, if we pay attention to it, it's not too late for us to make some changes, but we've got to really uh, make big changes in our individual behaviors and in public policy in order to get back to where we're really living within our, <clears throat> excuse me, living within our means on the planet. Uh, whether, whether we can do that or not, it's physically possible, but so far we haven't shown the political political will to do it. So how do you address population growth that isn't uh, you know, going away anytime soon, other issues, the growing amounts of CO2? What will it take to turn things around? And, and do you think some countries are doing better than others in this regard? Well, probably the first thing that we need to do is that we need to really educate policymakers. Uh, policymakers today are in search of robust economic growth. And because of that, well, first of all, the size of the economy, if it continues to grow, that economic throughput is killing our ecosystems. But the second thing is because they're so hooked on econo economic growth, they are wringing their hands even as human population is starting to show signs of slowing down our growth. We are just naturally having smaller families, and that is really good news, and, and that is the solution. Certainly we need to accelerate that transition from the old days of having six kids in a family to really averaging about one child per family. But we're showing that we're able to do that. Meanwhile, policymakers around the world are starting to implement incentives to try to get couples to have more babies. Why? Because they want more workers, more consumers, more taxpayers to feed this endless growth Ponzi scheme. And we have got to, if they really understood this condition of overshoot, then maybe we could get public policy to change. You know, it seemed like just a few years ago there was so much optimism after the Paris Climate Accord was signed. Where do things stand right now compared to what we saw uh, just a few years ago? Well, you know, we've been the latest warning has been that we have to make dramatic changes in our behavior within a decade or we are in for uh, a really rough ride. Uh, the rough ride is almost baked into the cake uh, regarding climate change, but that's not that's just one of the, the symptoms of overshoot on the planet. Uh, we are going to be facing significant freshwater crises. We are not going to be able to feed the projected 10.9 billion people that are expected to be walking the planet by the end of this century. Uh, we are, uh, you know, we're facing fisheries collapse. We're pushing other species of animals off the planet at record rates. Uh, we're desertifying fertile lands. Uh, so all of that, uh, you know, climate change is probably the easiest one today to see, but all of that really means that we're in the 11th hour and that we, uh, you know, it's time for us to wake up and tomorrow start uh, redefining uh, progress, measuring progress differently, not by robust economic growth, no. Uh, population growth is no longer going to be a sign of success for a city, a state, or a nation. Uh, a healthy economy of the 21st century is one that is contracting, and healthy demographics are a slowly declining population. If we don't embrace that, 
then we're pretty well sunk. All right, Dave Gardner, thank you so much for joining us from Colorado.